Thanks so much for tuning into the recording today. Really appreciate it. I wanted to start off with three top tips for using Facebook Live. These are three bonus tips that you can use and topics that you could talk about for your practice Facebook page uh, when you go live. So this is tip number seven. You could talk about a new article that you found about optometry. Something that's interesting that's uh, that you found recently. You might have found an article on practice update that's come out and it might be a new AMD related topic or a new dry eye or a behavioural topic. Just something that you that's caught your interest and that you think that patients would be interested to know more about. And even if you went live and talked a little bit about it, it doesn't have to be long, but it's enough that patients can start to see your, your genuine interest in what you're talking about and start to follow you and get to know you even before they come in the door to see you. So tip number eight, you could talk about a trade show that you went to recently or a conference. So you might have been to Vision Expo recently or you're going to the Southern Region Conference in Melbourne coming up soon. You could share some insights into what a typical day looks like or maybe you've just come out of a really useful lecture that's inspired you and you're ready to share some ideas with your patients on some useful tips that you found. And tip number nine, you might do an on-site video. So say that you're going to, you're, you're visiting an industrial site and you're doing eye testing there. You could show the setup that you've got and show a bit of the, the scenery, what you can see there and what it's like to do optometry at a site like this. And maybe, maybe you're going to a shooting range Maybe a patient's asked you, hey, could you come and check out what my setup's like and see if I need another lens to help to optimise my target and my scope site. So you could do a, do a Facebook Live showing what it's like for someone and what you do outside of the practice. It's a great way to show that you're going the extra mile for patients, but it's also an interesting topic as well. So these are the three bonus tips that I wanted to share with you today. So Facebook Live is getting really good priority in the newsfeed from Facebook. Facebook likes to see the how genuine it is, how one-to-one. -one. There's no outtakes or, or redos. It's just you. And it's a great way to, to show that genuineness coming across with patients. And there's some software that's come through recently that's, that's a real game changer for going live on Facebook. Previously, you used to have to either subscribe or buy some expensive software. And it'd take a fair bit of fiddling around to get all the settings right and just to get familiar with it. And this software is simple to use and cheap as well. So I'm about to show you a video about the setup process, just how easy it is. Not only can you use a video camera or webcam, but you can also show videos. If you've got a video on your computer that you want to show live, you can do that. And you can also show your desktop computer screen too. So if you want to bring up an article that way, it's a great way to give a preview of the, of the content. So, and also stick around, stick around till the end of this because I'm going to be sharing, sharing five, six more tips of optometry ideas that you can use to go live. Some more six top ideas that, that can inspire you. So let's have a look at this video. I'll just go ahead and bring this up. All right, guys, wanted to show you the setup process for the new Ecamm Live software. So let's go ahead and do the Facebook login. And we'll go ahead and tap continue as Lee and go OK. So that's 
that's all the setup that you need to do for Facebook. Once you've logged into Facebook, it, it's so easy to go live. You don't have to muck around with settings, like really technical stuff. All you need to do is three things. You give the talk a title. So you might talk about frequently asked questions that you get in your practice. And then you select in the bottom right hand corner, you select your practice Facebook page. And when you're ready, you just tap the go live button. And it's as simple as that. Really cool things about this software is that it shows you who's commenting on your live video. You can see them in the bottom left as people start to comment. And you can also see how many people are viewing your video live too. And that way you're not having to constantly look back at your smartphone and then look back at the camera again to find out who's live and how many people are watching you live at that moment. So it's a really useful system. And what you can do as well is you can select not only which video camera that you use, some people use their inbuilt screen cam, uh, but you can also plug an external webcam in you know, through USB and choose to select that as well. And same for microphones, you can choose to use an external microphone for this software. This is one of the most straightforward ways to go live that I've seen. It's very cheap, very inexpensive for what it does. I've heard of people that use more complicated solutions for professional systems and they just love the simplicity of this. You just give it a heading and tap the go live button and you're good to go. So it's so straightforward. The software at the moment is only for Mac computers. So if you've got a, a new or an old Mac desktop or laptop, give it a go on that and see how easy it is to use and to go live. So I hope this has been useful and that you can get some traction with your patients that they can start to interact with you and get to know you better. Hope this has been useful. So yeah, loving how simple this software is to use. So let's go back to our six more optometry ideas that you can use and reasons that'll help you to, to go live and, and get inspired about using this. So you could do a presentation on a topic. You might have a set of diabetes PowerPoint slides. Maybe you've given a talk to a local diabetes association and you can give that same presentation to your Facebook Live audience and then take people's questions afterwards. It's a, it's a great way to use content that you've spent a long time preparing. You've got, got it all there, it's just waiting to be used. So why not use it and get it out to more people in your community? You could also do a question and answer session. So something that uh, you might have seen people have a frequently asked question uh, on Facebook Live and you can just go live and get people to ask questions to you and you can just talk back to them and, and answer their questions and, and that way they can also grow that connection with you. You could also show, do a Facebook Live of new frames that, are, that have come in. Frames that you're really excited about showing, They're, they look awesome, your, your staff members already, uh, already penciled them in, they, they're ready to go ahead and order some for themselves. You could do a Facebook Live showing your staff trying on these frames and talking about them, what they, what they love about them. You don't have to show all 100 frames. Uh, you can just show two or three maybe that are really interesting and, and useful and that, that patients would, would love to try. And even the, you can even show the, the frame wrap coming in, showing you their frames and um, interacting with you. Show some of the fun that you have or the, just the lightheartedness that you have when they come in. You know the, the frame wraps that you, that you love to deal with, that are a pleasure to see and people that are happy just to come in and have a chat even if you don't need any more frames right at that moment. So that would be great to show some of that interaction on Facebook. You could also do a walkthrough of your practice. There's some people that might not have seen the renovation that you did recently or they might, have, they might just want to see more about your practice. And if they can see your, what you love about it 
um, then then they're more likely to connect with you and have a bit of an idea of behind the scenes of your practice. You can talk about, um, show them step by step what they're what they're seeing as they go through your practice, and that you can um, show them some of the new machines you've got, the new renovation that you did, and just your excitement for for seeing the community. And you could also do a, a how-to video live as well. Take some of the common things that you answer all the time in your practice. You might talk about blepharitis and do a, a treatment, uh, a how-to of how to use a Sterilid or Wheel of Eyes. These sort of things that are commonly done that it'd be great to have a video up there. Just really simple, you talking to the camera and patients can ask questions if they need to. So this is six more ideas. If you like these ideas, go back to the start of the video and there's three more useful tips that you can use for, uh, for Facebook Live ideas. Leave a comment below and let me know what, you, what you're excited to try with Facebook Live. And if you try the software as well, be sure to leave a comment and let me know let me know what you think. So thanks so much for joining us today and look forward to staying in touch.